Dear friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel MCB Chem Tube Online Chemistry Tutorial. You get my previous videos from my website or from my YouTube channel. So we were discussing the topic reaction mechanism in organic chemistry and elimination reaction. Today I'm going to talk you about two aspects. One is effect of substrate base leaving group and reaction medium on elimination. Second one, Zaitsev and Hoffman role. So first, let us consider, discuss factors influencing the reaction rate of elimination. That is first one, even elimination. What are the variables that affect the change of rate of reaction. That is one, substrate, second one, base, third, leaving group, and fourth, medium. This four aspect we already learned in the case of uh, nucleophilic substitution reaction. So we will uh, discuss now about in elimination. So let us consider first case, first variable that is substrate. You know, in even elimination, carbocation being the intermediate in even elimination. And rate of reaction depends on the stability of carb carbocation. Then, in there, there are some electronic effects like plus I effect and hyperconjugative effect and conjugative effect, which are the factors that stabilize a carbocation. So when you have an alkyl or aryl substituent or on alpha and beta position with respect to leaving group, which can increase the reactivity. That means the reactivity order will be tertiary alkyl halide will be more stable than secondary, which is more stable than primary. Similarly, tertiary benzyl is almost stability is almost equal to tertiary allylic and which is more stable than secondary benzyl and allyl and which is almost equal to tertiary alkyl and this is the order of stability of carbocation so in even elimination when you have an alkyl or a ray substituent on beta position here the rate of reaction gets increased you can see it from here, in the case of tertiary allied, tertiary carbocation will be stabilized by electronic effect and the allylic will be stabilized by resonance effect. Benzyl also will be stabilized by resonance effect. Then energy of reaction intermediate will decrease and rate of reaction getting raised. Similarly, alpha heterosubstituent like this can stabilize. And uh, in secondary case, substrate that may eliminate is like this. It, this is when compared to tertiary, this is less stable carbocation. And in the case of primary, it is unstable carbocation. So rate will be decreased. And substrate that cannot eliminate by uh, even is methyl halide. And uh, this is benzyl halide and tertiary. Uh, butyl allied because there is no hydrogen here. <clears throat> what are the other factors influencing even reaction rate? Second one, basicity. In even reaction, rate of reaction only depends on the substrate. It, it does not require any added base. Solvent itself can serve the purpose. So, in in even reaction, it does not depend on the strength and concentration of the base. Second one, so third one, natural living group. Of course, reactivity depends on the nature of living group because uh, uh, as follows, the iodine is better living group. So uh, then we are bromide anion, then chloride and fluoride. And solvent like uh, nucleophilic substitution, SN1 reaction, polar protic solvent can increase the reaction rate. 
Why? Because it can stabilize the intermediate carbocation. E1 reaction involves ionic intermediate, so it can increase the uh, when increasing polarity reaction rate also getting increased. Next one, what are the factors affecting E2 reaction? E elimination by molecular reaction. The same factors uh, can affect the reaction rate. One is substrate, second one base, third one leaving group and medium. When you consider the substrate, in the case of a SN2 reaction, as you know, primary is more reactive than secondary, which is more reactive than tertiary. Because when you go from primary to tertiary, tertiary is sterically hindered backside attack is not possible. But it is different from uh, E2. Tertiary is more stable than primary, secondary, which is more stable than primary in E2 elimination. Here there is no intermediate, but we have to consider that when you tell about can transition state. Trans, we have to consider tra transition state and transition state is double bonded in E2 so right depends on the stability of transition state so when this transition state get stabilized that depends on the number of alkyl or aryl group increases because of electronic effect that transition state also can be stabilized so tertiary will be more stabilized next one other three factors variables basicity of course a two reaction the rate depends on both concentration of both the substrate and uh, nucleophile so e2 requires require added base that is already evident from right equation so increasing concentration of added base it the rate of reaction get increased <clears throat> and strong and negatively charged base always increase the reaction rate so nature of leaving group of course the reactivity depends on nature of leaving group since breaking of leaving group is there in transition state so the reactivity order will be like this solvent like in SN2 reaction polar aprotic solvent increases the reaction rate so in summary you can say the commutation between e1 and e2 primary alkyl halide usually give only e2 elimination secondary can give both e1 followed by a1 or e2 tertiary e1 and e2 then when you consider the commutation between e1 and e2 e1 is favored by weak base and protic solvent e2 is favored by high concentration of strong base and aprotic solvent so next how to determine whether the co substitution and elimination is favored so we have to consider sn2 versus e2 elimination and when you have a primary substrate usually with a strong unhindered base substitution is favored like this if you have a strong unhindered base this is small base primary undergo substitution and with the strong base elimination favored in the case of secondary so secondary with the small strong base elimination get favored major product is eliminated product third one tertiary tertiary usually sn2 does not play take place in tertiary because backside attack is not possible due to steric strain so in tertiary majority of product will be eliminated product and at low temperature it follow e2 and high temperature at, at high temperature elimination also get favored <clears throat> so when you have a competition between substitution and elimination usually these are the three factors that decide whether substitution or elimination get occurred. That first one is temperature and second one size of nucleophile, third one basicity. That factors we already discussed in my previous video. And even in primary case, you primary alkyl halide, you can see that with unhindered small nucleophile, you get substituted product even 
uh, in primary there is a possibility of elimination if you are using hindered base or strong hindered base and in overall summary you see that alkyl halide gives SN2 methyl halide gives SN2 reaction and primary gives mainly SN2 except with the hindered base it give eliminated product and secondary it gives mainly SN2 with weak bases and give E2 with the strong bases and tertiary case there is a possibility of SN1 and E2 or E1 so there is no possibility of SN2 reaction and in solvolysis it gives usually SN1 and E1 and at lower temperature it prefer SN1 is favored when you have a strong base E2 predominate so in next video I will talk to you about the second part of this uh, talk that is a sage of rule and of man rule so thank you for watching my video